are pouring across our wide-open border, stealing hundreds of thousands of beautiful American lives. And it's happening like never before in our history. Children are being left without parents. Families are being ripped apart. Communities are being decimated. Our neighbors and fellow citizens are having their entire worlds destroyed. Destroyed like nobody thought possible. Our country is being poisoned from within by the drugs and by all of the other crime that's taking place. The drug cartels are waging war in America, and it's now time for America to wage war on the cartels. In this war, Joe Biden has sided against the United States and with the cartels. They are making more money than they've ever made before, times 10. There's never been anything like it. They're major, major companies. They're bigger than even some of our biggest companies. Biden's open border policies are a deadly betrayal of our nation. When I am president, it will be the policy of the United States to take down the cartels, just as we took down ISIS and the ISIS caliphate, and just as, unlike the situation we're in today, we had a very, very strong border, the strongest border, in fact, in the history of our country. And drugs were at a low of 45 years. There's been nothing like what we did just two years ago. We will show no mercy on the cartels. Every day, drug traffickers are using the waters of our region to ship their lethal poisons to America, killing so many of our people and ruining families. In addition to restoring strong border security, I will deploy all necessary military assets, including the U.S. Navy, to impose the full naval embargo on the cartels. I did that before, and it worked. What we did was incredible. We will guarantee that the waters of the Western Hemisphere are not used to traffic illicit drugs to our country. Furthermore, I will order the Department of Defense to make appropriate use of special forces, cyber warfare, and other overt and covert actions to inflict maximum damage on cartel leadership, infrastructure, and operations. I will designate the major cartels as foreign terrorist organizations. We will sever their access to global financial systems. I will also work to forge an unprecedented partnership with neighboring governments in our region, just like I did in Mexico. And remember, in Mexico alone, an estimated 100,000 civilians have been tragically murdered or gone missing at the hands of these cartels. The Mexican government, run by a very fine man, the President, is really working hard, but it's not working out. These cartels are vicious, and they're violent, and they have Mexico for now stymied. Well, we have to help Mexico and we have to stymie the cartels. Either we will get the full cooperation of other governments to stop this menace, or we will expose every bribe, every kickback, every payoff, and every bit of corruption that is allowing the cartels to preserve their brutal reign. And it is indeed brutal. Finally, as I have said before, I will ask Congress to pass legislation ensuring that drug smugglers and human traffickers receive the death penalty. The drug cartels and their allies in the Biden administration have the blood of countless millions on their hands. Millions and millions of families and people are being destroyed. When I'm back in the White House, the drug kingpins and vicious traffickers will never sleep soundly again. We did it once, and we did it better than anybody else. There's never been a better border than we had just two years ago. It was strong. It was powerful, and it was respected all over the world. And now we're laughed at all over the world. And we're not going to let that happen much longer.